Hey, what is up, y'all? My name is PJ. I like to play Madden. I play, you know, FIFA and Call of Duty. Those are my main three games. But this is Madden. This is what I, this is what I play the most. And we're just gonna start with my offense here. Beast mode. You know, that's how we do. Gotta have the dynamic players on both sides of the ball. But I take most of my pride out on my defense. So my defense is always gonna be just a little bit better than my offense, just for the fact that. Defense does win championships, so just go through the specialist series. See my punter kicker, nothing really special there. <clears throat> and we will go ahead. And I don't know why I didn't show you my record, you know, to show you guys that I'm not a scrub, but basically I just started out with showing you all the solo challenges that I've done. So that lets you know that, you know, I've done a lot of challenges. I don't put money towards this game because it's not that serious. So that's what I have to do to get my, you know, get good players to combat these people who constantly um, buy players and all that. You see, I'm in the all, you know, all pro second string. Uh, only one percent is in that group. Look at this team. I mean, this is just a normal team that I see on a daily basis. You know, who in the hell has a legends fullback? Like, is that even necessary? Like, I mean, all that fullback does is block. I mean. But you got the 95 legend overall, and then you got Eric Berry and the BCA Larry Fitzgerald. But that's okay because just because you have good players doesn't mean you're necessarily very good. Which I wish I would have showed you on my record, but that's okay. I'll show you on the next one. So he comes down. He has Ted Ginn Jr. And what's funny is he didn't even really ever try to juke with him. He just tried to take it to one side. So made my life a lot easier. So coming out. Like I told y'all before, I I honestly have more fun playing defense than offense because locking somebody down, there's no better feeling than that. But as you guys will see here, you know, I do have a good record. I forgot what it's like 115 to 70 some. I don't know. I'll, I'll let y'all know in the next video. But just let you know, I'm not a scrub or anything. So, you know, you'll see some games where I'm, you know, everything's on point. You know, I'm doing everything. And then some games, I'm just completely off and out of whack. Right there, user. For you guys out there, need some tips. Improve your user. Learn how to read people's offenses before they even know where to throw the ball. And as soon as you get good with the user, your defense will be very good. So I come out with the stretch play. The stretch play is my favorite run play. I, you know, I run that more than anything because it works. And the t I've also been using the toss as well. Here comes with Dre Archer because he can get that edge. And he actually got hurt right there, and he was done for the game. So, coming out on third and sixth, going five wide, because it's my favorite passing formation. Still trying to switch it up a little bit, trying to learn, you know, more formations. But here, I will find Jason Winston, who will drop the ball. Man, I need to get a new tight end. Jason Winton just drops the ball way too much for me. It's just really annoying. Plus, he's slow. Like, I was thinking about getting Julius Thomas again, or, you know, somebody that has some speed and some route running. Just to get off those, you know, that jam and also get off that defender that's on them. So we come out with three after the turnover. He comes back with take. And as I said before, there was no moves, just running straight uphill. I mean, I guess he's trying to get his wig split because take is not that type of runner. So he comes out. And I was expecting a toss here, but he decided to do the fullback dive and cheese with the 95 overall. So of course he's going to get plowed forward. And that brings him to second and two. I thought they were going to run it again, so I brought Parker down. And goes deep to Larry, and he one-hands it over Richard Sherman. Like, are you fucking serious? I mean, wow. But anyways, back to the action. He's back in the eye form. I bring Deshaun Golson up to stop that pitch, which I try to keep on the inside, which is the goal. So anybody that you're getting cheesed on pitches, you need to cut that off from the outside, force them back to the inside to the rest of your men. So I come up. I try to hit sick with that 96 power. Didn't work. So he's back in the eye form. I'm thinking he's going to toss it again. And I think he passed it this play. I can't remember. I like to move around just to give them, you know, let them know I'm here watching them. Yep, it was a run. And great 
run containment. And what you guys will notice is my run containment is actually pretty good. It's not bad. That's one thing I do take pride in. Like, I should have made the tackle there, but that's all right. We'll chop your ankles up right there, boy, and your knees. And I'm pretty sure that's the 91 overall Adrian Peterson. It's pretty much cheating in the game, but that's okay because our defense locks up anyway. I have what's called a, a bend but don't break defense, which means you can go all the way down the field on us, but when it comes to the red zone, it gets a little more difficult to score. But in this situation, he's cheesing with the motion with the corner out. That's okay because I believe that was the last time he hit that route. I didn't let, I didn't allow that again. But here, here's that stingy defense. He tried to fullback dive cheese on the one, gets stuffed. Then I believe he tries to just hand it or yeah, pitch it to Adrian, and he actually got in. So good offense sequence for him. And here he comes back, kicking back to Tavon Austin, and, and I tried to catch it, and it was an epic failure. And I'm just thankful that I didn't fumble the ball after this terrible juke. So back on offense, go back to the stretch. Y'all will see. Uh, if you can't stop the stretch, I'm going to pound you with the stretch. And then here we go with the play action here. And if you're going to blitz everybody, I'm going to hit you with the fullback. And he's normally pretty consistent because he doesn't fumble too much. So back to the stretch again. Broke the tackle. Latavius Murray is easily my favorite running back on this game. I've had Jamal Charles. I've had Terrell Davis, who is really nice. But for some reason, the way Latavius Murray moves is just nice. So if you knew he was blitzing and in zone, the wide receiver screen will tear that up. Mr. Odell Beckham got him in a double elite journey pack. <coughs> Excuse me. And he's the beast, so I have him on the edge over there because he can get off of that 92 route running. And here's the pitch to Latavius Murray, who happens to be a beast. So that's touchdown number one for the game. And here we go as we kick it off to tag in. As, like I said, doesn't make any moves. We'll chop your knees up. And I know that route's coming but I don't get the middle route right there with Larry Fitzgerald. And he fumbles, and he got the ball back. So just want to show you all my bad luck in this game as well. Get that down. That's one fumble. And check this out. See, this is why my defense, I, I can't get mad at them because they be balling. And fumble number two, but he got it. So you see the game is saving this guy. That's two fumbles. He shouldn't have the ball right now in complete honesty. I feel if you fumble the ball, you should not get the ball back, but that's part of the game. So he hits me down the middle again with Larry Fitzgerald at 94 overall. I mean, you can't really do too much with that. So, you know, I switched the man here. And Patrick Peterson nearly kept, caught that, but that's all right. That's good defense on the out. Second and 10 for him. I was waiting for the run. I like to bait people into stuff, and I try to get there. Actually, I did get there. Broke Got off the block and made the tackle with Michael Kendricks, who is nice. So he's got a third and short three. I get Sean Golson. And he pitches it, and he sh shouldn't have even got that. Like, he should have lost at least a yard. And he tries to pitch again, and I almost blew it up. I was so close to blowing it up, but good play on his part. Malcolm Smith trying to bring him over there, gets caught up. He keeps getting me on the pitches. That Adrian Pearson just breaks tackles like nobody's business. Like The first guy is always going to uh, be shedded off because he's that much of a beast. So he tries that cheese drag route, which I was there, and I brought some heat. Here we go again. I got Deshaun Golson. I know he's going to try to go to that route, but I try to bait him, and he found the hole in the zone, which in my, in my opinion was very lucky. But I try to take one back with Tavon because Tavon's nice on kickoffs, man. If you're looking for somebody for kickoffs, I have the 75 overall Tavon Austin. 95 speed, 98 agility. So as soon as he comes off that cut or whatever you do with him, he is more than likely going to the house. So coming back, uh, I believe I did nothing at the end of this drive, so... Yeah, I think I drew a, threw a pass to the, uh, Jason Wynn. And check this out. It's supposed to be gone, right? That's why this game hates me. Like, where did he come from, bro? Really? He came out of freaking nowhere. So into the second half, we got the ball. Down by four. Here comes Tavon Austin. Just couldn't get, get anything going with him, but that's okay. 
because I know one of these games he will take one back from me. And on this play action, I will dot you. I repeat, I will dot you if you don't cover the fullback. I'm just going to keep dotting you up the field. And he's a beast. Look at that. Broke a tackle game five yards. See what he's trying to do. Stretch it out like I told you all. That's about four yards. And I believe I'm stretching it again or maybe a pitch this time. I do both. If you're not, what I've learned is if, if you ain't stopping my run game, I'm going to keep running it down your throat until you do. So he stopped right there. So it brings to a third and six. You know me. I go five wide. Doing a little hot routes there. I saw the little hole where Baldwin was. So I know as soon as Baldwin come off that out, he's going to be open. So I hit him. First down. Good catch. I think his catch was 92. So good catch, Mr. Doug Baldwin. And the stretch. Here we go. This is why it's so good. Actually, that was not a good run. I'm sure there will be one here shortly. So we're back to where we're at. Putting Amari Cooper on the slant. Got Jason Wink on the seam. Got Doug Baldwin doing the out again. And this time, I believe I hit Jason. Yes, I did. I just have to get a faster tight end, man. Like, Jason's great. The main reason I got Jason because I had a Dallas Cowboy team. And there you go once again. You get dotted up with a fullback. I had a Dallas Cowboy team, so that's why I got Jason Witten originally. But now that I have a Browns team, I honestly might go to the Vikings because I like their uniforms as well. There's no throwback uniforms this year, which is kind of weird. But anyways, pitch again on Latavius Murray. We go ahead and score at the beginning of the fourth quarter. We kick it deep back to Ted Ginn. Remember, this guy does not like to juke, so he will get hit stick pretty hard here. Ah! By Shazier. Who can hit? And I expected a run here, but he play action me. And he tried to go to the deep ball cheese. And I got lucky because he came down, but from somehow he lost the ball. I know he was pissed off because I would have been pissed. So I expected the toss here, or at least the handoff up the middle. And tried to cheese me again. But good defense to Sean Golston. Got Michael Kendrick. I tried, oh, I jumped that route that time. He was... He was about to throw that shit, but he gets it to Shannon Sharp, which terrible tackle on my part. Remember, like I said, we're a bend, but don't break. You can easily go down the field on me, but when it gets to that red zone, you better have a better game plan to get in there. So good run pursuit there. Here's another pitch. Look at that run pursuit. That was all me, too. You got to make plays on this game yourself. Like, I know he's going to try that cheese. Got that. Oh, but he's got to pick that off. That cover four is nice. Come on. Follow him. And that was great defense right there. Took the ball out. I was trying, and I knew he was going to try to run commit from been doing it before. Caught him off guard. Mari Cooper down the field. Going down to pay dirt. Let's go. So now we're kicking it off. We got a t comfortable tempo. And what sucks is, is that I recorded a game before, won it, it was super laggy, but I won it, and I wasn't even recording. So that was really uh, heartbreaking. But anyways, I came back out, you know, played another game, did it, pulling Clowney in coverage. And how did this happen? Like, wow, I jammed him and everything. Like, I moved him, and he, you know, came off his route, and he still made a lucky throw. That's okay, because I got him that again that time. Nothing really open for him. He just forced it deep, and that will be Mr. Stephen Gilmore with the pick. Ooh, and got fudged up by Calvin Johnson. And at this point, game's pretty much over. Now, Madachi with the tie, uh, the fullback. You got to guard that. You got to guard that. And I'm pretty sure this was the final. But, uh, yeah, it's the first game, you know, trying to get on deck, trying to show my talents, you know. There you go, trying to throw it deep. And that fell. So that's the end right there. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to seeing, uh, or seeing, looking forward to posting more videos just to see, you know, show y'all what I'm about. So, like I said, my, my name is PJ, and I will talk to y'all later.